Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome to part 2 of Soundtrack Pro from start to finish. Now this is the first time we've actually seen the Soundtrack Pro interface and you're probably looking at mine going, holy cow, what is this? This doesn't look anything like the Soundtrack Pro I opened. And there's a reason for that. That's because this is my custom interface that I use when I'm not doing tutorials and whatnot. When I use tutorials, I use the standard layout so people won't get confused because that's what everybody knows. But for personal projects, I lay mine out like this. And in our next video, we're going to talk about this little bar up here. But for now, I just wanted to show you my interface and how customized it can get. And we're going to flip back over to the standard interface and we're going to start from there. And I'm going to explain a few things. Uh, on a side note, we're going to learn how to customize our menu bar. And if you want the items that you put in your menu bar to stay, you have to save a new layout. Okay? So let's go ahead and go to our window, go to layouts, and I'm going to say standard layout. And now this is the standard layout that you guys should be used to seeing when you open Soundtrack Pro. You notice there's a couple other ones up there. These are the ones that I've made custom. And there's a separate mixer and video. And it pulls everything out separate. As you can see, there's a separate video and mixer panel. Okay? So let's go back to our standard layout and let's talk about a few things. The first thing I want you to notice are tabs. If you'll notice there are tabs, <coughs> excuse me, there are tabs in every single project pane or video pane or pane that you really can look at inside the Soundtrack Pro interface. Over here there's tabs, down here there's search and favorites, the browser tab for going through your browsing your computer, your files over here and we'll cover all these you know we have our effects and our tracks and all these tabs everywhere you look there's tabs well these tabs are not stationary you can put these tabs where you want and that's the objective of this first little introductory video is to let you know that you can organize these tabs how you see fit not what the tabs are for so if you notice if I go up here and click on a tab and drag it you can see that it comes loose and I can put it wherever I want if I hover it over top of another pane where its tabs are located you can see it turns yellow and that's indicating that the tab is going to be placed there okay so if I go down here and place the tab boom there's my project tab so I can take these tabs and lay them out however I see fit you can adjust the order like I say what window they're in so it's totally customizable about how you want these tabs. If you want all your tabs in one window, hey, that's that's your prerogative. Um, if you like all your windows spread out with a separate tab for to have its own individual window, that's not a problem either. That that's that's completely up to you. Let's talk about keeping the interface you have set up. What if you've went around and you've separated these windows and you've set the tabs how you want them to say and all that and you want to keep this interface for use it to use it again well all you got to do is go up to your window tab go to save layout type in a name for it and say save and now the next time you open up your layouts tab it will be saved and the title of your layout will be right here and that is how you save if you don't save it you'll lose all the organization that you put into moving your tabs around and, and separating your windows out and stuff like that okay now, if you can see up here, the menu bar is pretty sparse. But in my custom layout, you'll notice I had several things across the top. Okay, well, you can do a few things to customize this top menu bar. One of them being, you can right click and say icon only. And this will give you just the icons, no text. Kind of cleans things up a little bit. Or you can say text only, which cleans things up even more. And if you're a professional Soundtrack Pro user, Eventually, you may not need those icons, so you can minimize your menu bar up here to have just the text. And then there's the icon and text. And this little button over here, this little peel, will totally close your menu bar altogether. But let's say you want to add some stuff to it or even take some stuff away. Well, that's not an issue. Really easy in Soundtrack Pro. Like before, you right click and say Customize Toolbar. And we'll get all these cool custom things from Add, let's add a beat marker. Let's take our spacer out and drag and drop it out. And boom, it disappears with a puff of smoke. 
as you can see if you don't want a button you can grab it and take it and pull it out and when you let it go it will poof like a puff of smoke Boom, there we go so I'm gonna put that button back in there actually that's the layouts button so I don't really need that I can get that from the menu bar I don't use it that much okay so let's go ahead and say let's add a beat marker in there so we can add a beat marker let's add a time marker let's put our marker lines in there so we can see our marker lines um, crossfade we might you end up adding a lot of crossfades or a fade in and a fade out um, adjust amplitude you really don't need that up there but some people might like it normalize I like that button up there set noise print for reducing background noise and reducing noise I use those a lot on my videos so convert to mono that's used a lot for my podcasts okay so you can see you can customize the layout however you see fit here's a fit to window which is a good little button to have you hit it and it'll fit to your window um, I'm gonna keep it like that I'm gonna say done now remember if I want these buttons to stay in this menu bar like this I have to save it as a custom layout okay <clears throat> anything else real quickly yes these are our our little left lower and right panes if you see I can hit it and it'll get rid of our left pane and get rid of our lower pane our right pane and we can have just our tracks if we want to so we can clean it up that way Turn our right pane back on and in our next video we're gonna talk about this colorful little doodad up here uh, run more real quick tip before we go if you're wondering how did I get my colored tracks to be colored like that and that's not an issue that's really simple all you have to do is right click clip color and you can set the clip to any color you see fit let's set it to pink yeah. so this was just a very 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 fast introductory video of the interface to what you should expect uh, in our future videos you may see one or two with my custom layout but for the most part I'm gonna work with the standard layout to not confuse you guys you all are more than welcome to work with your own custom layout. Go around and explore. Make your layouts, make, make several different layouts. Put each tab in its own window. Put all the tabs in one window. Just experiment and save them. It's no big deal. You can save as many as you want. You can always go back to the standard layout no matter how you mess it up. It's not an issue. <clears throat> so this has been a video to get you familiar with customizing the menu bar, setting colors to your tracks, how you move around and organize tabs and just the basic overview of the thing you look at when you first fire up Final Cut I mean Final Cut Pro when you first fire up Soundtrack Pro got Final Cut on the brain I guess like I said in our next video we're gonna talk about this little colorful bar right up here up top and until then thanks for watching part two of Soundtrack Pro from start to finish look forward to seeing you in part three thanks for watching